All right, folks, now we're going to add some nice to have pieces of gear, and we're going to include the cradle for the FT60 as well as the FT70 since they share the same batteries. I have one FT60 that can't take a direct charge because California screwed the pooch on charging directly in later models, so we'll be able to use our existing system to charge that one if needed from here. I'm going to include the AC adapter just in case there actually is access to an electrical grid. And I'm also going to include the adapter for the DC car charger. Again, I don't know what's going to happen after a EMP event and what will survive. All right, so all three of those will fit in our 8x10 standard EMP bag that we've been using this entire time. All right, folks, I think this is the last bit of electronics that I can think of for our HT kit. There's a couple of other things we're going to put in that don't require EMP protection. We'll talk about those tomorrow.